Hey guys, and thank you so much for tuning into my channel. My name is The Lady Designer, and we're here with another zoo tour showcase. And in this episode, we're gonna have a special one. This one is made by Mike and it's called Great Northern Zoo. But I think this one is the first one that is actually built in franchise mode and later transferred to Sandbox to share on the workshop. So I'm actually very excited to see how this zoo is looking comparing to someone that is just playing in sandbox with everything turned off like well for 100% etc. This zoo is meant to be like exactly how you want your animals uh, to be happy etc. So I'm obviously not able to check that because I have all the sandbox mode options turned off or on how you say that. <laughs> but there is definitely going to be a difference I think with how we will see a habitat and not being like completely fully overgrown but still being a very beautiful zoo at least what i can tell so far this is already looking stunning so if you want to check out this zoo yourself definitely go and check out the link in the description down below leave a like at it if you enjoy this zoo uh definitely go to the steam page and leave that like for mike and uh, yeah, if you want me to showcase your finished shoe, definitely also read the description down below to see how you can send me your finished shoe. So who knows, I might be able to check out your finished shoe as well on the channel. So without further talking, let's just go in here because um, this is looking looking beautiful already. Like you can tell that there oh, there is, uh, uh, um, it's exactly the same on both sides. And I actually really love that. Um, and that works really well, but just all oh, that building. I'm just so excited for that building. Oh my goodness. All right. Okay. So we have information right over here. We have information right over there. So if we continue, uh, we get to the king penguin habitat, I am guessing. Oh, we have this uh, lovely little sign here. Elephants, we have polar bears, timber wolves, big cats, uh, gray seals. We have pandas. Uh, caribou doll sheep, penguins. Okay, this is this is gonna be uh, gonna be amazing. Just look already at this rock work right over here. Oh man, I love that. Also to mention, uh, I think I don't think I did mention it, but this is uh, over two hundred hours of work in franchise mode. So that's quite interesting as well. Oh man, I really do love this king penguin habitat. That is looking amazing. Why is no one looking here in the habitat though? Okay, there are people... <laughs> These people are standing wrong here. Man, just look at this. This is looking so good. Really beautiful work. Absolutely amazing. Oh, just look at this. Oh, I love this habitat. Really well done. I really love your rock work here. Absolutely amazing. Okay, so we have stairs going up here. We have stairs going up here. There's run one route uh, going to here and there is another one going to here. Okay, so we have different areas where we should go to. I think I want to just start from the side and work our way up. So we have that building later, which we will be very exciting. <laughs> so we have a gift shop right over here. Oh, look at this. That is looking really nice. I really love how you use the classic theme here. Oh my god, look at how you use these statues. Wait, are these the the reward statues? Oh my god, they are. They are. Okay. Okay, looking at this, they are actually really amazing. I wasn't, I don't know why. I just wasn't really a fan, but this looks really, really good. Cool. Oh man, I love this. I really love that. That is looking great. Okay, so we have uh, really nice shops and stuff right over here. It's super busy in here. We should maybe just uh, go and have a maximum amount of guests in here. So what do we have in here? We have the timber wolves here. Oh yes, throw that money in. Yes, yes, do not. Do we have? Do we see money? No, it's unlimited. A really nice habitat. Like you can, you can definitely tell the difference with uh, a sandbox habitat and a franchise mode habitat because you just don't really have that much freedom for your animals. Yeah, it still does look really nice. 
Oh man, I love the Timberwolves. They're so cool, aren't they? <laughs> Almost. Get it, get it. <laughs> I think he gave up. I think he gave up. Just look at all these beautiful buildings right over here. That is looking gorgeous. What do we have on this side? We have elephants. Oh my gosh. So this is this got to be like a huge habitat to meet their requirements. But really nice. Just playing around with the grass and the terrain textures already can help so much with like creating diversity in your habitat. Ooh, what was that? Uh, we have some rocks right over here. Do you really like that? Very nice work. Oh, look at that little one. Oh my god, that's so adorable. Oh, we have an indoor habitat as well. Oh, that's going to look amazing. Okay, let's have a look here. Uh, Indian elephants. So, oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, wow. This is beautiful, Mike. Well done. This is insanely beautiful. Oh, I love this. I love how you use this thing. Oh, we have an elephant right over here. Some music here from the animal talking point for when there is no talk. Gosh, you need a bath, elephant. Just look how pretty this is looking. Oh, this is super inspiring. Amazing work. Really, really amazing. So we can also go down here. And I'm curious. Polar bear underwater viewing. Indian elephants, wolf, wolf den. Okay, let's first go to the wolf den. Oh, no. I thought maybe this is an end point. But no, you did a great job in making sure that you don't have any bottlenecks so far. Well, we did have a little bit of a bottleneck. But that's not you to blame. Too many guests. Just too many guests. Oh, man. They're so cute, aren't they? Oh, I love it. Really great work. We have a staff. Oh, the little details you also pay, paid attention to. Really do love that. All right, let's just go to the underwater viewing for the polar bears right over here. Oh, wow. Oh, this is an end point. Okay, okay. Now we go back to the wolves again. Oh, look at this. Absolutely amazing. Unfortunately, we're not seeing any polar bears. Now, I am really curious. Like, the polar bears, again, are also um, animals that need a huge habitat. Like, when I added the polar bears... I really love this viewing gallery, by the way. When I added the polar bears in my franchise mode, everything just went wrong. Like, it cost so much. Like, their food... And, uh, and I'm not really sure, electricity maybe as well because of all the coolers. But you don't really need that many coolers in this biome though. Oh, I love it that's starting to, to snow by the way. Okay, so we, oh, look at this. Oh, that looks great. Oh man, we have snow. I love that. So we have just a very plain habitat because the polar bears just don't really need that much. They don't need that much foliage. They just need flat area snow and some rocks well they don't even need rocks but oh, this works super well though really lovely it's definitely amazing that it's snowing right now and we're at the polar bears just look how big this habitat is i'm just curious can they go underneath here yes they can okay so they have oh man this looks so good oh my goodness I actually think that we should also check at night, but I'm probably going to forget. But if 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 I forget at the end of this video, and you guys, uh, I'm are curious. Like I see so, oh, I do it again. I see so many um, lights like this at night. Okay, I want it. I want to see what it does. It should be doing something. I never saw what. This is looking great, but the lights are not working, unfortunately. Okay, so I think they're not turned on. Oh, man, just look at this. I I had no idea that going to nighttime is so different when it snows. That is just gorgeous. Man, I love snow in this game. I love the weather in general in this game. It looks insanely beautiful. So we have more viewing galleries in here. Just your rock work is so gorgeous as well. 
you have implemented like this huge habitat for the polar bears in here. Oh, just look at the viewing. Oh, please don't let it melt. This just looks so beautiful. Oh my gosh, it's huge, yes. This is exactly how big it should be. And you just make sure, you make sure that you, you have so many viewing areas. They have like this huge water section right over here. This is just gorgeous really gorgeous so we also have an under a polar cave just look at this how many viewing points like you definitely don't have to worry about your guests being like oh, i can't see a polar bear from here you know <laughs> gosh this is amazing oh you have some shops right over here also to attract some bull which makes total sense you what you have another scening and polar bear cave viewing Oh my goodness. I love this. This is absolutely super inspiring. Oh, hello. Really inspiring. Oh, we're so lucky. Oh my gosh. So they extra, they have an extra layer right over here because obviously they need that space as well. Ah, you did such a great job on this. I can't believe that this was in franchise mode. Especially when you have polar bears and your money is just going down so fast. Oh, this must have, have cost a lot of money to, to run this polar bear habitat. I can't think of anything else. It must be. Gotta be. Alright, let's go and find the top layer again. You even have like these cameras integrated here. I love that. It's just amazing beautiful habitat really well done so this was not really an ending point no we can just go right over here and just follow the path oh, man. such great work i love your rock work really well done oh look at this building that's so cool so what do we have doll sheep and caribou barn and the polar bear sign. So let's just go in here. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love these guys. So underrated, but definitely, definitely the doll sheep, one of my favorite animals. But reindeers obviously have a special place as well because of Christmas. <laughs> no, I love these guys. They're amazing. I love the environment here. Habitat looks really beautiful. Again, with like the combination of the grass and stuff. Even though it's pretty plain, it looks just amazing. Really gorgeous. It's such a pity that these lights are not, do not seem to work for some reason. I'm really curious what you did exactly with them. Oh, this is looking amazing. I like the barn door as well, by the way. That looks really cool. All right, let's go around here. Oh, man, it just looks so good. Really creative, super inspiring, definitely. I love this biome, like oh, these mountains in the back. Oh, it just works super well. Oh, yes, we're getting some more snow. We have the Chinese pangolin right over here. Oh, that's so adorable. Would this close, like, um, if snow would fall on top of it, would that close the roof? I'm just curious. Like, if I speed it up a little bit, I, I, I would expect... Wait, is there anything? No, there's not. I would expect snow to fall down on top of here as well, but it's not. Oh, wait, there might be heaters, so that is why... Okay, yeah, okay, makes total sense. So it's not because there are super, uh, like, a lot of heaters in here. So it's too warm for the snow to fall down. Oh, man, love this habitat as well. Great work. Uh, let's see, what do we have in here now? It's hard to tell. Very nice habitat. I see a chewing toy. Wait. Is this music we have 
in Planet Zoo? I had no idea. I love this. What habitat is it? Snow Leopard? No, Timberwolves. Oh, this is the other side. <sighs> this snow just makes it, finishes it so much. It's just amazing. With all these, these colder climate animals, you also have a few tropical animals, but mostly colder climate animals. And I, I just, <sighs> I love this. This is insanely good. Super beautiful. All right, let's go up. Uh, okay, no, this is the penguin hammer's head. Can you also look into it? Oh, yes, you can. Oh, look at this. I oh, love this. Super close. You can just enjoy the penguins up front here. Oh, I love that. Oh, that's so cute. <sighs> the reptile house, guys. Oh my god, I just, oh, that building looks so freaking good. I just can't believe what I'm seeing. This is just gorgeous. All right, let's just go in. Oh, the classic theme just works so well here. I love this. All right, let's go in. Let's go in. Oh my god, look at this. This is amazing. This is absolutely beautiful. Okay, okay. I, I start to become more convinced about these statues. And um, I need to um, I need to unlock those all. <laughs> I don't know what, what side to go to. It's just so beautiful here. I want to stay here all day. All right, well, what is this? Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. This is amazing. Just look at that. Oh man, this is so cool. So we have some exhibits on this side. Do we have the same thing on the other side? Yes, I think so. Oh wow. The theming, I love this. That This is like more of the desert exhibits. Oh, this is so good. Really, really inspiring. I love it. This is amazing. Wow. I'm so impressed. I'm so impressed by this zoo. All right, let's just go to the right. I, I think it goes around. I want to see this building from the top as well. Okay, so we have the Komodo dragons right over here. Oh man, I, I just can't believe, like, I never am used to, like, building big projects in franchise mode. I just can't believe what I'm seeing here. It's it's insanely good. It actually inspires me to, to maybe do the same. And to just, yeah, well, obviously in the beginning you have to earn your money. So you can't go crazy from the start. But if you do good planning, you might, you, you can do this. I love that. A good functioning zoo with all the needs and requirements of the animals. Just like this. And it still looks gorgeous. It absolutely looks amazing. I think it's going to look even more amazing if you're... Well, that is my preference to, to use those small aquatic rocks throughout the habitat. It, it gives that little extra touch of detail which just finishes this area off, even though you're not using that many plants and stuff. That, that is how I feel. That would be just even more amazing. But your zoo is already spectacular. I love it. Oh, this is just so cute. Really well done. Really, really well done. The roofing is just beautiful. What do we have here? Crocodiles. Oh, yes. How yes. Just look at this. Oh, this is so beautiful. Excellent work. Insanely good work. I love this. This I can't believe how you did this. I really wonder how you like measure all the habitats out. 
with this roof like what do you do like do you first start planning out the habitat to know that you're the right you have the right size and then start doing the roofing i mean that's definitely a challenge to make it big enough for franchise mode with sandbox mode you can cheat you can cheat so often but man this is looking amazing i have no other words for it this looks absolutely stunning okay let's see from the top just look how amazing that building looks. This is stunning. Wow. I'm so impressed. I am just so impressed by this. This is looking awesome. Really well done. I'm, I'm really impressed. <laughs> Definitely amazing work. All right, let's see what we can find on this side. Oh, what is this? Oh. <gasps> We have some tigers, Siberian tigers here. Again, some music. Like everything is thought of. I love that. So beautiful and so peaceful. I love this. This is absolutely amazing. All right, let's go down right over here. I really hope I'm not going to miss out on any... Oh my god, what is this? Are this, these are seals? <gasps> it is! Oh, wow. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, I love the waterfalls in here. These are the aquatic waterfalls, aren't they? Yes! Oh, that works so well. Oh, I love that. This is really inspiring. Oh, this is looking so good. I love this. Do we also have like an underwater viewing gallery if you go down here somewhere maybe? That would be just amazing. We have some glass right over here. We have some shops right over here. Do we have a staircase? Yes. Oh, I was hoping for this. Oh my gosh. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Now the, the, the seals do a little bit wonky. I've never seen a bit of wonky animation, but that's not up to you. Um, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> I really don't know what I'm seeing here. There's something really off here. But there's underwater view. I'm distracted by, by the, the weird seal behavior there, but... This is looking great. I really love the rock work here with the archway. Amazing work. And you have no idea when you're on the top. I love that. I really love that. Uh, so what do we have on this side? <gasps> oh my, what are these? Oh, I, I don't know. I, I always, I, I don't recognize those names. Is this the Himalayan or the grizzly bear? I, I, I need to get my information about bears right. <laughs> like if they have different colors, then I do recognize them. I think the Himalayan brown bear has a little bit more white. But it's been such a long time since I've seen the grizzly bears as well. So, oh man, this is beautiful. I love this cave. Oh, this is adorable. Grizzly Bear Cave, your signs, everything is just perfect. Red pandas. Wait, do we don't we have like this upper viewing as well for the grizzly bears? Well, okay. Um, the, the, no, I don't want to forget any any parts. So let's just go right over here first. This is the grizzly bear habitat from the top. This is beautiful. Oh, we're so lucky with the snow. I keep saying it, but it's just... Oh, it gives such an extra dimension to your zoos. Especially this one being already in a colder climate. God, I love this. Beautiful habitat as well. So, if we go and follow this, now we get to the Siberian tiger. Or oh, that was here. Oh, even the height elevations, just how? How did you do this in franchise mode? That's just insane. Okay, well, while well, we have the uh, red pandas right here again. Oh, just look at that. Oh, you have heaters here, I guess. Yeah, you, you must have heaters here. 
Although the the giant uh, the the um, the red panda, I I don't think they mind snow, do they? I don't think so. I think they they can can enjoy a colder climate. Oh, I love this by the way. This climbing frame is so cute. I really like that. Very nice habitat. I really do also love this this viewing gallery itself. How you made this? That's just amazing. I love that. And the guests are happy with that because, well, look at this. She is not wearing a coat or anything. You're freezing. Yes. Blame Frontier for that. They don't give you cold, colder clothes for these climates. Okay, Japanese macaque habitat. Oh, look at this. Oh, I love this as well. That is beautiful. These, these cabins, climbing frames are amazing. That, well, how did you do that? Oh, with those climbing, uh, climbing plates, just rotate them. Oh, super inspiring. We're, we're going to steal that. Note that, guys. Note that. That is just, I, I never would have think of doing that, but that is just amazing. Beautiful habitat. Again, gorgeous. Uh, wait, did we miss a habitat over there? What is that? Oh, that's the Siberian tiger. There's another viewing uh, area right over here. What a beautiful habitat as well. Oh, there's a waterfall even. Hi! Oh, we're so lucky! Oh, gorgeous. Beautiful work as well over here. What is this? Oh, orangutans. Oh, hello. Did you just slide down from the stairs? <laughs> oh my gosh, look at this. That is awesome. That is such a cool climbing frame. What did you use for that? Oh, I actually thought like the texture. These are the concrete pillars. Yes, it was because of the concrete, uh, the, the, the glass textures, as you can see right over here. <gasps> Oh my god, wait, what what just happened here? Oh my gosh. Um wait, that was a glass that is broken or dirty glass? Yeah, okay. So I I first thought that this was from the construction area, but this is I think broken glass or something, so it needs repairments. It's it's at least it needs maintenance. Okay, so that what that guy is gonna fix that. But that is, I thought that that texture was on these pillars. So I was like, what is that pillar? What is that? But beautiful work. Okay, stop rambling, lady. Oh my goodness. Really nice work. Oh, we have another Siberian Tiger viewing gallery from here. Oh, just look at this. This is so beautiful. Wow. Really, really gorgeous work. Absolutely amazing. I'm super impressed. But what? Oh, man. Just look at this. That is just so cool. Oh, man. This zoo is great. Absolutely amazing. Okay. Japanese macaque. We were just here. Is that path leading anywhere? No, it's not. Okay. So this was the dead end. And there are gorillas here. Oh, no. This is the orangutan outside habitat. Really nice. Oh, man. What a great zoom. Okay, how do we go? Okay, from here. Go straight. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Never saw them doing that before. Oh, God, that's so funny. All right, let's see. Where? Wait, is this the entrance? No, don't tell me it's over already. Did we see any everything? I think we did. I think we did. This is the Siberian Tigers. Man, the zoo is amazing. Mike, you really did an outstanding job with this franchise zoo. Absolutely incredible work. I'm super impressed, super inspired. This is just insanely good. Do let me know in the comments down below what was your favorite thing of this zoo. I can can name tons of it. This was really, really inspiring. And, and again, Mike, props to you for doing this in franchise mode. 
absolutely amazing work. Thank you so much for giving me the honor to check out this amazing zoo on the channel. Really, really appreciate that. And uh, as I said, if you guys want me to check out your finished shoes, definitely go and check out the link in the description down below how you can send me your finished shoes as well. So who knows, I might be able to check that one out as well on the channel. And yeah, of course, also go and, and click that link on Mike's uh, Steam Workshop zoo file so you can either check it out yourself or just only give that thumbs up on that Steam Workshop item for this incredible work. Definitely well done, Mike. Thank you so much again for, for letting us check this zoo out. Leave a like at the video if you guys enjoyed and subscribe, of course, if you haven't already. And if you want to see more Planet Zoo content, uh, I definitely have you covered on the channel, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching and I really do hope to see you guys all in the next one. Bye guys!